bench from Fuse Extracts here, and myself, Dan, from Bones. What soil growing are you guys traditionally uh, doing? So we're doing uh, living organic soil here. Everything's clean inputs, minimal inputs, uh, no chemical fertilizers, pesticides, or fungicides allowed. And you guys came from HPS World, right? Yep. And then what brought you to, you know, kind of what got you interested in LEDs? And then ultimately what led you guys to folks? Kind of started growing with LEDs at home. Okay, I'm going to and say wait over the commercial. Yeah, like liked how much my AC cost went down at home. It's like, man, in a commercial environment, this will just be key. It's a serious shutter, absolutely. Yeah. From that came across someone who posted a video of you guys talking about their terpene profile increases and all of that they have with running your lights and yeah. from there it was pretty much here we are. Winner winner. Absolutely. <laughs> and then what do you you know when you guys are, you know, doing your extractions and everything? So what's your favorite, you know, surfing profile that you like to see with your your uh, uh, cannabis? Usually not too picky. I mean, I like piney. Piney is like my favorite. It is tasty. Yeah, anything that smells like straight pine tree is just something I love. Uh, that and you know, great, great turkey. Great turkey. That right kind of profile. In your personal experience, how much did you see? You know, especially from your, your home growing days, how much did you guys see your your turkey profiles increase and everything when you were kind of R and D? Dramatically. Dramatically. Yeah. Once you're not using 700 degree light bulbs that are frying <laughs> off all your turps, it's a pretty big up on them. So, lowering our cost of production is one of the main main things that I'm you know big on. Absolutely. That and you know getting turping profiles higher and those are like two main things that I'm stoked on. Yeah, low operating costs and yeah. higher higher yield on your product. Absolutely. Yeah. Try to give that to the end user, the savings to the end user at some point, yeah. We're here at Fuse Extracts uh, with a, another install here at a Las Vegas cultivation facility. Uh, in this room, we just deployed our F1B1000 and we're just gonna take some simple light readings to show what users are experiencing as it relates to light density with our product. So right now with the lights being 10 feet above the, the tray, we have our clot on our Apogee light meter. And right now we're reading 520 all the way up to 575. As we go closer to the expected canopy height, we're experiencing over 1200 micromoles, roughly the canopy height. We deploy these, we always like to recommend that people, when they're finishing their flower period, that they're roughly three feet away from the LED, from the top of their canopy to the diode itself.